all right ladies and gents welcome back to another youtube video as you guys know 2024 is set up to be one of the biggest years of gaming actually 2024 going into 2025 is set up to be some of the best times in gaming we have a, a plethora of lineups when it comes to not even just gaming but anime games in general right and although we didn't come here to talk about all anime games i just wanted to kind of just spring this on everybody that like we have jjk coming out we have a new hunter hunter fighting games coming out anime we're, we're eating we're eating sparking zero is coming out we're eating so with all that being said leave a like on this video and get on to my predictions for the release date of sparking zero the predictions for what's going to be shown at battle hour not just sparking zero but other games involved and just my tidbits and obviously what's going on at battle hour so as you guys know battle hour is an event held uh usually around this time usually january at the beginning beginning of every year it was the last time we saw sparking zero announcement trailer where goku was turning to saiyan boo and it would actually make sense for them to place a gameplay trailer of some sort or like tangible mechanic breakdown of some sort at this next battle hour because that was the last time it was announced and you guys they dropped that trailer on us on game awards which nobody expect expected right so with that all being said why not give us some uh tangible gameplay you know going into battle hour 2024 so my prediction for that is i think and you can call me crazy april or march of 2024 all right listen you guys are probably gonna call me nuts you guys are like oh my gosh you're doing too much the game just got no no no. listen the game technically did just get announced nine months ago actually and, and actually if, if i recall and now that i'm actually correcting myself march was actually the last battle hour which is actually because the trailer got announced nine months ago so it was actually march around that time and so i feel like <laughs> i feel like the release is gonna come within that springtime next year the game has been in development for five years this has been confirmed by one of the producers on the on the actual uh game you can check the ign interview that they did i can link the article in the description below they confirmed that it's five years in development five years that means in 2018 that was when db fighters came out which is their inspiration for the game again in an interview with ign so with that being said, you have five years to tell me that you guys are just going to drop these trailers. And you know, Bandai, they don't wait too long to drop their games when they drop a trailer. Or at least an announcement trailer, right? Official announcement trailer. Because Battle Hour is just like a teaser. This is our official announcement trailer telling us to wish list, wish list this game already. So I'm trying to like, I'm really trying to emphasize like, they're ready to, they're ready to blow. They're ready to pull the trigger. And I, I really think that it's going to come out next year in spring. If not fall confirmed i'm sorry it can't come out no later than fall you cannot you can't it can't come out in 2025 nothing can come out in 2025 because gta 6 is coming out in 2025 i'm sorry if you're dropping a game in 2025 i'm sorry it's not it's probably not gonna do any it's probably gonna do great great it's gonna do great it's not gonna do better than gta 6 and so 2024 is the year for all these other games to drop their games they need to drop that game, Sparking Zero, or Budokai Tenkaichi 4, in the spring. And I'm calling it Spring 2024. Maybe not the April or or maybe a little May, but Spring 2024. And I'm going to stick with that. We're going to see how that goes. Now, moving on to the actual what's what I think they're going to show at Battle Hour in this upcoming Battle Hour. They're going to be showing a lot of things coming from, you know, the Dragon Ball card game. As you can see here, they got Sand Land. Uh, they got uh, the fighters, legends. Um, I'm sure Xenoverse is going to make an appearance. So it's they've got a lot of things lined lined up. The one I want to again, everybody watches these types of things for the announcements. And so Xenoverse Two, as you know, is getting a PS5 port. They're also getting some more DLC and some other things that are going to come within the coming years or coming months of 2024. And so with that being said. I really feel like for Xenoverse 2, since you guys think this game is dead, they're going to really show us what they're going to do with the PS5 port come Battle Hour 2024. I feel like that's a good thing to start off. I think you can leap us into the year with some excitement into getting us excited for the next phase of Xenoverse 2. 
you drop this new festival of universes things on us and give us more rewards it's cool i get on every now and then a little bit more often just to check out the rewards and indulge in a little battling every now and then but to really make us come back we need that ps5 port we need to see better graphics we need to see better cutscenes. we need to see better all of that it, the ps5 port better be basically it needs to be what everybody's thinking it needs to be basically xenoverse 3 if you guys are not going to make xenoverse 3 ps5 port needs to be that remastered version that you guys want to incorporate all those changes that we're asking for that's just all i'm asking for and I, hopefully we see some tangible information come battle out next up we have dbz kakarot which we have a leak that was posted by dbs hype uh think i guess confirming that this is confirming that this is going to be uh the storyline from the oob uh arc or the oob and goku and i think that's going to be really cool and i actually want to check that out so hopefully that some of that information is on there um as well um we have one other thing that i wanted to mention when it comes to sparking zero and i wanted again go back to that calling of releasing it and giving us a you know date along with that date i am expecting to see a pre-order if they give us a release date come battle hour i'm expecting a pre-order to go live that day remember my, me and my buddies were talking about this in the group chat and i completely agree with this because if you guys give us a release date let us pre-order it because they already let us wish list it and so i think with that again we're gonna get gameplay and possibly some something evolving on the story there is a lot of things going around and i, I kind of wanted to say this for this end of the video there's a gigabyte thing going around with the xbox marketplace thing i've, I've seen it i've seen it trust me i've seen it um there is four different screenshots i believe there's one that is seven gigabytes there's one that is 77 gigabytes there's one that's about 80 gigabytes i believe i'm gonna call that the ones between 70 and 80 are the ones that are probably the ones you should believe or believe could be in that range because games nowadays are a little bit hefty when it comes to gigabytes and 70 to 80 seems plausible considering that that might just 20 of those might just be graphics not saying that that's a bad thing but nowadays you know graphics do take a lot of space in general so i think that that's what it is it's like it's gonna be a, a very hefty game with that being said they probably do still have a lot of content in there i'm not knocking that at all and because you know i know graphics for 20 gigabytes that sounds a little crazy but I, it, it's i'm just saying to exaggerate it saying like graphics does account for a lot of things nowadays like a lot of space yeah so i think all that being said the seven gigabyte one impossible there's no way that there's it's going to be seven gigabytes that just doesn't seem likely take all of it with a grain of salt of course but it just none of it that seven gigabyte one just is like no there's no way that's seven gigabytes they could probably start at 70 and work their way up to 80 or something like that but i don't think so it could possibly be lower than that i don't know this game really could be just like 50 60, 60 gigabytes we don't know we don't know so we will see but yeah these are basically my predictions on what's going on in the next battle hour and all that stuff i wasn't really going to go through the page much or anything like that because you know you guys i'll link the website below that's kind of go through it they kind of just showcasing the regular stuff like the card game and the dokkan battle and stuff like that we 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 know but we want to really see what other games are going to bring and so yeah you know i have the fighters world tour finals and all that good stuff everybody loves fighters all that great stuff so this is all the stuff that they have here with the game we have this again this was march so like i said i did correct myself march was the last time we got this trailer uh, and then we just got the announcement trailer or did not well this is for their announcement trailer but we just got the announcement trailer uh going on uh, a couple weeks ago a week ago so i appreciate you guys watching this video if you guys have any predictions let me know in the comments i like chatting it up about that stuff you guys have been kind of interacting with me on other videos let me know in the comments what predictions you have if you think i'm out of my mind <laughs> talking about a spring you know release date let me know if you're this video subscribe if you're new and we get on some more dragon ball sparking <laughs> dragon ball games content peace